What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we are jumping into Destiny 2 for the weekend of the 17th of April right here because Zer is back in the game. So we can see right here, he is here in the tower hangar over here on the map. You'll see him pretty easily. But of course, we also have Trials for the weekend. And if you're curious about Trials this weekend, the map is Exodus Blue. So uh, that'll be an interesting flashback to D1, of course, as many of the maps tend to be. And as we are rudely teabagged on this weekend, let's jump in and see what ha uh, Zer, sorry, has for us this week. So, all right, here we go. For the main inventory right here, he does have Cold Heart for the featured weapon. We've got Knucklehead Radar for the Hunters, the Armamentarium for our Titans, and the Crown of Tempests for the Warlocks. Of course, in addition to this, we've got the Five of Swords and the Invitation of the Nine, if it's something you're still working on. And maybe the saving grace for Zer will be the exotic Engram that can randomly drop random world pool exotics uh, when you pick it up. And of course, there is a knockout system. So if the stuff you don't have, you have an increased chance to get it until you have everything, basically. All right. So for a bit of a better look at the inventory itself, Cold Heart, if you're not used to this weapon or haven't seen it, comes with Cold Fusion. This weapon shoots a steady Cold Fusion powered laser. Uh, it also has extended barrel right there enhanced battery and longest winter where cold hearts laser does exponentially more damage the longer it remains on a target and then we also have hand laid stock for increased stability as well some of these tracer rifles are definitely pretty fun if you've never tried them out but uh that's a pretty common one now for knucklehead radar for our hunter friends we've got upgraded sensor pack and it provides radar while you're aiming and enhances your radar resolution while crouched so you can aim down sights and always have that radar up and of course, you get an increase in resolution, which essentially is range on the radar. So actually a pretty good exotic, not necessarily the most exciting, but definitely has a functional value right there. Armamentarium is very functional in that it gains an additional grenade charge. So if you want to have more grenades, absolutely an exotic to try out right there. But then we have the Crown of Tempests, also very much an OG uh, D2 exotic with conduction tines where arc ability kills will increase the recharge rate of your arc abilities and extend the duration of Storm Trance. So pretty fun if you are rocking arc supers, storm caller, all that kind of stuff. You can absolutely tear things up with that one. So there we go, nice and quick. That is the Zer inventory inside of D2 this week, guys. If you're curious about D1 and are still collecting, he does have the Astrocyte Verse, the Don't Touch Me's, a heavy Year 1 Engram, as well as Telesto, and then Thagomizers, but uh, otherwise, that sums up Zer uh, for this weekend in the game. If you guys are jumping into Trials or anything like that, then have a very fun weekend. Of course, next week, we get the April update and uh, the Grandmaster Ordeal, as well as Guardian Games. So stay tuned here on the channel for the information about the new event, of course, that is also free to play. So get subscribed if you are new around here and you can turn on notifications so I can keep you up to date on the world of Destiny 2. But otherwise, guys, whatever you get up to, Stay safe, and I hope you have an awesome weekend.